What's good, fam? It's Only Two in the Back with another video. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you smash the sub button. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you hit that follow. But we're going to be ready to how Drake is destroying his own career. I got a feeling this is about to be crazy. So without further ado, let's get to this video. After Drake just broke his own silence after he pathetically backed out of his beef with Kendrick Lamar on the hard part six. Between him sounding so destroyed on that track as he made a straight fool of himself by trying to defend his name from all of the allegations Kendrick threw his way in the lamest way possible, to then this response becoming viewed as an even worse song as Drake was proven to be a straight out liar about setting up Kendrick with the items seen on the cover art of his disses like Meet the Grams and 616 in LA. Overall for Drake, it seemed like his best course of action was just to lay low for a while as the entire world does a victory lap for Kendrick as Not Like Us continues to be played everywhere and with Metro booming and he entire- I'm gonna say this, obviously this is this man's opinion. You know, some people might not feel like Drake need to lay low and duck his head, you know what I'm saying? Some people might feel like he need to make a banger or and then do whatever he gonna do. Or some people might feel like he just needs to just keep doing whatever he was doing before the beef. But if you feel like that, then that's cool. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to say the whole world feel like that. Let me know what you think. Do you even care? Or do you feel like Drake should... I mean, we. I think he just made a song with Sexy Red. Which is crazy in itself after the whole euphoria. But... <laughs> It's crazy. The BBL Drizzy challenge just making everything around Drake and his defeat in this beef even funnier. There has really been no option that Drake has when it comes to salvaging his reputation at the moment other than to just lay low and hope that he can make a full-on comeback in the future when the hype from this moment has went down. But despite all this, and despite his own words saying that he was backing out of this feud, which he seemed more serious about than anything he has in years, for some reason, Drake has already made his return to the limelight not even a month later on none other than sexy red's new album <laughs> this is what i was just saying bro you know i didn't react to this because a lot of a lot of when you react to certain drake songs it, you, you just won't see it on youtube if you if unless you tied in or unless they you know make sure y'all hey listen if you drake label or umg whatever and you watching this go ahead and give me that green light to react to you might see some on here you know, even if it ain't Drake, give me that green light to react to you, uh, stuff that y'all own. And you're going to see a lot. You're going to see some videos. But, yeah, like I said, <laughs> he popped out with Sexy Red, which is crazy, right? <laughs> the fourth track, You My Everything. And while Drake making this collab his first one back since what has been the most watched hip-hop feud arguably ever is just ironic. And when we go back to Kendrick's first full-on Drake diss euphoria, this makes Lamar's bars when he compares Drake to Sexy Red and says that she is Drake's real competition even funnier. But besides just some jokes writing themselves, you would think that after Drake saying that he no longer... But, but he didn't... I'm gonna correct that real quick. He didn't say that's Drake's real competition. Well, uh, did he? Did he? Let's go to the lyrics. He got it on the screen. He might have said it. When I see you stand by Sexy Red, I believe you see too bad. I believe you don't like women. It's real competition. So he did say, I believe you don't like women. It's real competition. But he's... <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. I stand correct. He never wanted any part in this beef that he would just be going back to the old goofy version of himself that is just saying whatever makes the song catchy. And while in some ways he is doing this on this track, What's important is that in addition to this being the first time that we have heard him after everything that's went down with Kendrick in the entire rap game, despite his words wanting us to think otherwise, he is clearly still not over the beef and the entire feud as during his feature on the track. He doesn't address Kendrick and not like us, but actually, Metro Boomin and his viral instrumental diss that targets Drake in BB Hell Jersey and what Drake does here is not trying to put him in his place again like we saw him do on push-ups pretty effectively with one of the most memorable lines of this entire situation, but instead, raps over the viral BBL Drizzy beat, and in a way, responds to the claims Rick Ross started about Drake enhancing the way he looks, and that Metro has just turned into one of the biggest memes and viral challenges of the entire year with this beat, and what Drake talks about over what has become the soundtrack to this humiliating chapter in his career right along. How y'all feel about that, though? How y'all feel about Drake rapping over BBL Drizzy, man? Is he, is he, 
Is that a W or is that an L? I gotta know. I gotta know. <laughs> Not like us. In an attempt to try to level the playing field for him in some way, Drake defends himself by saying that he has changed girls' lives. And ultimately, the way he tries to push this across is by flipping the title of BBL Drizzy from being a nickname that mocks him for the way he has gotten cosmetic enhancements to instead be used as a moniker for him always being the guy to help girls look the way they want, which he directly raps about with the bars. BBL Drizzy, they want a new body, they ask me for it. And with lyrics like these, while this is not anything deep or even something that is going to reignite any tension between any of the parties in this beef, most likely, still for Drake, doing this is just laughable for so many reasons. And while there is a reality where he could have rapped over this beat and threw it right back in Metro's face, trying to label yourself as the Batman of BBLs is definitely not the way out. I mean, the challenge Metro started with this song has gotten so out of hand with people rapping over it in so many different languages <laughs> and just overall, with people going Which, in on Drake over and over again and finding every- Bro, that's crazy. I, he ain't lying though. I seen some Spanish saying L, L, B, B, L, B, B, L, A. That's crazy. Man. Drake. Oh. Different angle to pick I don't know what to say. This beat is solidified as another part of what has made Drake the laughing stock in the rap game at this very moment in time. And while the circumstances and stakes are way lower here than anything that directly involves Drake and Kendrick, this method of responding that Drake has done both to Kendrick on the hard part six, and here with Metro and now the greater public by trying to explain the root of the joke to detach yourself from the label, just looks ridiculous and no matter what you say, 99% of the time doesn't just make you look worse, but makes you look insane. And while if Drake would have just said these few bars and not rapped over Metro's beat, people may have reacted differently as it would be right in line with any petty shot that Drake has targeted somebody with in recent years, which for the most part, do an effective job at calling out whoever they are intended for without ever distracting the greater portion of the moment he's trying to deliver. As he raps over the actual beat that Metro made and tries to redefine the title, he takes what could have been maybe a decent subliminal and makes it consume the entire moment and overall. Beyond the song itself, it shows us that Drake is still so caught up on this entire feud despite him telling us otherwise. Now, one of the reasons Drake has done- But I mean, another thing I want to point out about that song, I'm gonna be honest. Some of y'all might disagree. You might not like this, but me personally, if Drake didn't hop on that song, me personally, I wouldn't listen to the song. That's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? You can feel how you want to feel. There's no disrespect to say it's red. Uh, but the song, without, I mean, it was like, for me, it was just like a one listen type of thing. Oh, he, he rocked over BBL Drizzy High, never play it again type. That's just me. My opinion, you know, Drake fans, you might not like that, but that's just my opinion. I feel like Drake, he was he made the song more than what it was. But it was just like a moment thing. I don't think it was like, I could be wrong. I mean, it could go number one. Who knows? I doubt it. But that's just my opinion. Self into the hole he is in right now is because more than ever, from disses towards Kendrick that were straight out dumb and fired back on him to make something like the final verse on Not Like Us just flip his entire world upside down. To the way he has tried to defend his name all the way to this full circle moment where he is rapping over the BBL Drizzy beat. Drake has shown that he is way out of touch when it comes to saying and doing things in a way people can genuinely get behind. And with each way time he just continues to miscalculate what listeners respond well to. And what would be an effective way to clap back at somebody which before this, he was generally pretty clever with, even with somebody like Pusha T who he took a massive L2 for example. He is just disconnecting bro, more and more from the Bro, listen, shout out to F Fantastic Hip Hop, you know what I'm saying? That's who... That, that's who or that's who made this video. <laughs> you see his name? Let me see his name right here on the screen. You know, go check him out. But you funny though. You funny, bro. Massive ill got destroyed. Like man, <laughs> that have made him the force that he was, and now this moment we are witnessing right now is the very consequence of all of drake's poor choices and this downfall he has had into this self-obsessive parody of himself because from hopping on a sexy red track to rapping over a beat that's made by your rival and just straight up making fun of you 
to then defending yourself from said title in the lamest way possible. And then doing all of this just weeks after you were called. This this still shot. I believe you see two bats just hit. It, it just hit differently, bro. It hit differently. It hit different. <laughs> for doing pathetic things like this. All in all, Drake is just scrambled up right now in a way where he is a complete and utter mess. And the way that he used to be able to do things, even if they were mediocre and still receive positive reactions, excitement, and laughs from them, now he is just looking lost, confused, corny, and most crucially, everything that has went down with Kendrick, Future, Metro, and everyone else is only occupying up more and more room in his head with each moment that passes. We're all the way to now. He is just doing Kendrick and Metro's jobs for them, as by bringing their bars to life and feeding into the very ideas and jokes that they created, which only gives them more validity. Drake has fallen into the lethal trap that pushes an Ellen rap beef into a career-altering moment, which is only able to really happen when you stop battling your opponent and start to fight something that is much worse, yourself. From the gaslighting, attitude change, and over-explaining on the hard part six, to running around with the artist you got made fun of for always being with and turning what would be a subliminal into a moment where you look like you don't even realize that we're all laughing at you and not with you. This is really so pathetic that Kendrick and Metro no longer need to respond to Drake in any capacity because he's no longer battling them and is now fighting with the ideas that they have put into his head which despite his claims of him being the chess master who can never be broken or outsmart have changed- bro, I'm not gonna lie bro, you sound a little mad making this video. <laughs> yeah, but you funny at the same time, bro. But you on Drake top, bro. You gonna let him breathe, bro? Hey. Do your thing, brother. Or whoever. Now, Drake, you know. right? <laughs> so, at this point, and as I have said before, I don't think there's a road that Drake can take right now that will be able to redeem him in a way where he can genuinely get respect back. And the best thing to do would have been to just lay low, but as it looks right now, it seems like he is just going to be running through the motions on features, where he is going to allude to these feuds like he is unscathed from them, but as he references them and morphs the classic Drake subliminal into this over-the-top and corny moment that just keeps adding fuel to an already burned out fire. It's Bro, I'm telling you, this this man, he, he cooking Drake right now. Going to make him look crazier and crazier, and by never stepping away and giving himself time to really think about how to move forward, Drake is going to stay trapped in this state of limbo, where no matter what he does, he cannot escape his own failure. So Man. let me know, what do you think of this new Drake feature and how does it affect everything going on around him at the moment? I can't wait to hear what you have to say and if you want to see the complete history of every Kendrick Lamar beef, which really gets surprising and shocking when you see how many people have tried to disrespect him over the years, check out the suggested video. We might have to do that, bro. I'm rocking with, I'm rocking with this video, bro. I'm rocking with this video. Um, very well put together. I feel like, I feel like you was cooking, you was cooking, bro. You was cooking Drake. That's that's crazy. No, hey, but I can't. This is I can't disagree with a lot of stuff that you said, but it's opinionated. I can't take it like it's facts, though. It is opinionated. Uh, but let me know how y'all feel about this, bro. Do y'all feel like y'all feel like Drake is making his career worse? Do you feel like he's destroying it even by hopping on that song with Sexy Red? After the whole Kendrick bar about him. Or do you feel like Drake could just do whatever you want to do? Because why not? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below.